I want Dragon Ball Evolution so you never have to. When Spark and Zero eventually brings in a new audience for Dragon Ball, I want them to see this video and realize that there are some things in Dragon Ball that should never be watched. Dragon Ball Heroes will be covered another day, but today is Evolution. And boy, if you think you remember this movie, trust me when I say you don't remember this movie. In the start, we have Ozaru and Piccolo, who were allies, and Goku wearing normal clothing. Then we have Grandpa Gohan using the Shadow Crane Strike. I'm sorry, what? After this whole entire battle, you hit me with a Shadow Crane Strike, which looks like an airbending move? And Goku goes to school? I'm sorry, Goku? Education? Um, okay. Normal's overrated. Bro, what is this movie trying to fulfill? Goku is getting worried about girls and really wearing an orange and blue hoodie. Looking the edgiest I've ever seen Goku look. And what did they do to Piccolo? The hell is he? Who are you? There used to be a law against this. Oh shit. What is with him looking at the Sith board? Also, they didn't even specify, is this Piccolo Jr. or King Piccolo? Like, what's going on here? Is it at the end of the movie, we're gonna expect to see Piccolo Jr. be born because King Piccolo is gonna die? You triggered my trap card! Oh, okay, so we reached the peak of cringiness for Dragon Ball standards. Goku's fantasy about Chi-Chi eating his strawberries. Ugh! This whole fantasy sequence goes on forever. And even when it ends, you don't believe it just happened. You're you're still in awe like what I, I really wish i was there in theaters to watch this just to see the reaction of every dragon ball fan on opening day because then after that we have goku doing his flirting rotation and being bad at it which is kind of charming if you want to say charming and then goku goes to a high school party because a lady invited him and then at the high school he kind of pulls up this like goten s type of energy and for goten it works for goku this will never work and the action is all right. I'm not gonna lie. Just rebrand this as not Dragon Ball, and I'm okay with this. Goku trying to raise up Chi Chi, saying that I like different. Kill me now! And then Grandpa Gohan getting blood bended by Piccolo, then eventually earth bend by Piccolo. What is this power system? I don't get what's going on. So far, I would say this is the CW level, but I think that's an insult to CW. Boma being a badass is not a bad idea. I'll be genuine when I say that. They're gonna make me famous. So Goku convincing Bulma to take him along is kind of a cool twist. Instead of Bulma being the one to coerce innocent Goku to go and it's Goku that convinces Bulma to take him along, there's actually some good stuff in this movie. And the city little adventure, okay, it's kind of a little charming now. And a house in the middle of the city. Why? I guess they couldn't afford the budget to go on an island, I guess. What in the world is this prophecy? I see an Ozaru, I see a planet blowing up. It's all flashing to me like it's trying to give me epilepsy and you expect me to understand what's going on. Okay, so Goku really is about to become the bootleg avatar, huh? Goku looking where? Oh, Yamcha. Eh. Also, what in the world, Yamcha? I'm hearing your voice for the first time. No problemo. I'm sorry. What? Roshi flying up. Just look at it. Okay, so Piccolo's blood is creating a xenomorph, similar to how King Piccolo's, I guess, body can spit out his own little demons. But why a xenomorph that's indestructible? Now I'm convinced the only reason this movie got greenlighted is because Spike kids they thought that dragon ball and spy kids only difference between them is dragon ball has a bigger ip so they went like we're gonna make a spy kids level movie use dragon ball for the name and this is gonna give us pink <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? Movie kind of redeemed. Kamehameha is airbending? So Bulma x Yamcha and Goku x Chi Chi is cute on paper. <laughs> but we, yo, wait a second. Chi Chi's just throwing himself and then Goku is like smacking them. Like, wait a second. What the? Hell? At least, you know what? It's not Goku saying, like, what's a kiss like he did in Dragon Ball Super. God damn, imagining the strawberries all over again. And Goku again beating woman, saying that for equality. Now, Piccolo telling us that Goku is the Ozaru, which true Dragon Ball fans already knew. And Piccolo controlling the Ozaru. Just like that. To then us seeing the ultimate game of dodgeball. Crazy, isn't it? The iconic Goku Gi. Huh. At least they got that kind of right. And the clash of VFX, practical effects, and just raw screaming. Oh boy. And at the end, when Shenlong comes and revives Roshi, making sure that we have to remember in the world of Dragon Ball, there is no such thing as consequences. And finally. The nightmare is over! Oh, wait, what the? Goku? I gotta do one thing. 
At least now the movie should be over. Wait, what? There's a post credit scene. Is there supposed to be a sequel? Oh, God, no. It almost makes me feel that Dragon Ball GT isn't that bad. So I definitely suggest that you watch my video on all the positives of Dragon Ball GT. And thank you for watching, you guys. Stay safe and peace.